Welcome back. We've been seeing a lot of talk about potential interest rate cuts. Let's break down what this means for you and your wallet. Joining us now is financial expert. Thanks for joining us. Can you start by explaining why we're even talking about interest rate cuts? Absolutely. Interest rates are a tool used by central banks to manage the economy. When they raise rates, it's typically to slow down inflation. Conversely, when inflation cools down, they might consider cutting rates to stimulate economic growth. We're seeing some signs of inflation easing, so the possibility of rate cuts is on the table. Okay, so if rates are going down, that's good news, right? Well, it depends. Lower interest rates can have both positive and negative impacts. Let's start with the positives. For those with credit card debt, lower rates could mean lower interest charges. This can provide some relief for those struggling to pay off balances. That's a big deal for a lot of people. What about mortgages? Homeowners with adjustable rate mortgages, ARMS, will likely see their monthly payments decrease as interest rates fall. For those looking to refinance their mortgages, lower rates can lead to significant savings over the life of the loan. However, it's important to weigh the costs of refinancing against the potential savings. So, it sounds like homeowners are in a good position. What about people looking to buy a home? Lower interest rates can make homes more affordable. With lower monthly payments, buyers can qualify for larger loans. This can increase competition in the housing market, potentially driving up home prices. Let's talk about loans. If interest rates go down, will it be cheaper to borrow money? Generally, yes. Lower interest rates mean lower borrowing costs. This can be beneficial for businesses looking to expand or individuals needing loans for cars or other big purchases. Are there any downsides to lower interest rates that we should be aware of? Absolutely. One concern is that lower rates can lead to inflation. When money is cheap to borrow, people tend to spend more, which can drive up prices. Additionally, lower interest rates can impact savings accounts and certificates of deposit as the returns on these investments tend to decline. 